Hello and welcome to another round of uh, review of uh, our development in Kingsley Road. This time we are showing you the progress we've made in the last two months. Today is exactly two months since uh, the day we acquired this property in Kingsley Road in Maidstone. Uh, this was originally a two bedroom house and we have now transformed this into a five bed, five bathroom HMO. Come with me as I show you the progress we've made and uh, how this house is now transformed into an HMO. Follow me as I show you the progress. So for those who have followed our progress in the past, they'll remember that, that, that this used to be the um, living room at the front of the house. This is now uh, bedroom number one. As you can see, it's fully finished. It's complete uh, and it's been fully painted. Uh, ready to uh, get people in. So we have, in the last eight weeks, we've been able to get a complete finish on the room. Uh, the painting is now completed. And the beauty is we've now also managed to get the finishing of the, uh, the mini kitchenette that we were talking about in our previous videos. This is an excellent addition without risking the additional VOA that uh, the additional council tax banding from the VOA that sometimes comes into the picture if you add uh, uh, cooking facilities in the room. So we don't add cooking facilities. However, what we have done with this development, and if I can ask my cameraman to pan across and show here is, we provided space for a microwave here, uh, and we've also provided space for tea coffee making facilities here, and there'll be a undercounter fridge freezer, which is an excellent addition. It is almost like a hotel-like setup, ideal for people to be, you know, bringing their food in and uh, keeping their food in their own fridge freezer and heating and eating this. Of course, it's all been discussed with the fire safety officer. All those things have been uh, uh, taken into account. Also, the housing officers are all involved and they're happy with, quite happy with uh, the way we are doing this. As long as we are not putting a sink in here, or an actual hob in here, they're quite fine with this. So this is room number one um, that we have now completed. I will now take you to room number two and show you how that has panned along. So if you follow me now to room number two. So this used to be the open passageway and uh, it used to be quite it used to be quite a large dining area. What we have done is we partitioned this space out and this is now a complete separate bedroom. Again, a decent sized bedroom overlooking the front, the rear garden of the house. Uh, and again, keep in, uh, keeping in mind the same theme here, we've got space for a microwave, uh, tea coffee making facilities and the fridge freezer here. Again, the bed, wardrobe, chest of drawers, and bedside table will all be fitted. One of the other features that we do definitely take into account with our tenants, that we've seen all our professional tenants like to have a telly of their own. They love to bring a telly. So as part of our standard feature, we provide a place to hang the telly on the wall. We would also provide the TV bracket on the wall and uh, somebody from our staff would uh, help them hang it safely on the wall. That helps free up their table space and it's also, brings, uh, it adds a little more value to the room by freeing up space for them. Otherwise, a lot often you find tenants uh, putting extension cables and various other things to run a TV. And obviously because there is going to be fast fiber internet in the house, uh, a TV with uh, smart features works just fine for most of our new tenants. I hope you like the layout of this new room in room number two. And as you can see, works have just been finished in this room as well. And I'll now take you over to show you how the kitchen now looks like. So this is our now finished kitchen. Finally, we've now finished the kitchen. Ha! Huh. So this is the uh, update on the kitchen. Um, we've now got all the work worktops in, all the base units, all the uh, wall units are now in place. Uh, there's plenty of storage. Remember, this is going to be a five bedroom HMO. So by regulation, each uh, tenant needs to have one set of cupboards. There's plenty of storage for five uh, sets of tenants. In addition, uh, we've also provided space uh, on the side, 
Uh, remember, we extended the kitchen slightly on this side. So we have now used that space cleverly to provide a small breakfast bar area with two bar stools. We are going to provide so people can have their breakfast in the morning. Just adds a little more value so people are not eating in the room. There's enough space uh, to have breakfast as well in this area. And again, the standard uh, hob and oven and uh, washing drying. One of the things we've taken into account this time is with the washing and drying facilities, obviously, uh, we've invested in a slightly better quality washer dryer rather than trying to get run of the mill cheaper washer dryers. Because uh, with a five bed HMO, we've noticed that people do a lot more washing and drying. So uh, the washing machine runs almost three times a day, five, seven times a week. So the washing machine needs to be sturdy enough. So we've invested in a better quality washing machine and a dryer. This is again, something we've learned over the years. So you spend once and you spend it right. At the back of this uh, bedroom, obviously, of sorry, of this kitchen comes the, uh, the bathroom uh, for room number three, which I'll ask my cameraman to pan and show you. So that's the shower area for uh, the bathroom number three. And then bits of the work in the shower are still left. Uh, the toilet uh, is still to be fitted on this side. Uh, that is the last bit of work, but the plumbing by and large is finished. But this is a nice area for a toilet and a basin and a shower. Uh, again, the door would open inwards and there's plenty of space for one decent sized uh, shower room for uh, room number three. Let's now go and see room number three then, the quintessential basement room that had been uh, the hardest bit to put into this project. Remember, we've only been doing this for, uh, what, eight weeks now. Today is exactly two months since we acquired the property. So in the last eight weeks, this is where we are. So that's how the basement room now looks like. Um, it's fully complete. And uh, we've now set up the furniture to give an idea of how this room looks like. I'll ask the cameraman to pan across the room and give you a view. Uh, the layout of this room is uh, self-explanatory. It's a nice, spacious room. And again, this is going to have its own uh, mini kitchenette here with a fridge, freezer, microwave, and a tea coffee making facilities there. The wardrobe is going to be here. There's a nice double bed here, bedside table chest of drawers and the, um, the, the bed itself. And then again, the standard feature which we provide in every single room, which is our uh, TV point right uh, across from where the bed is going to be. So we always make it a point that the TV point is literally across the other side from where the bed is going to be. So there's ideal viewing position for equipment. Uh, um, and just remind on the uh, uh, on the other end is obviously a window that is ideal for ventilation. Uh, it opens this way and it opens the other way as well. I'm not going to try and risk opening this because there's a lot of uh, rubble on the other side which we need to clear. But uh, it's a nice finished end product as you can see. I hope you like the look of the the room and the finished product that we have created here. Um, in this basement. This used to be a derelict, unused basement room. Hopefully, this is a nice, uh, useful room. Uh, little features like your uh, fire alarm and a separate uh, LE2A grade A uh, call point have all been added here that are all standard part of the job that we do. Let's go upstairs now and see the rooms upstairs. As we go along upstairs, I'll show you some other interesting bits that we've done in this property. And let's follow upstairs to the first floor. So this used to be the family bathroom that's now been split into two bathrooms, obviously. This bathroom is bathroom number one for room number one. I'll ask my cameraman to pan inside and show you. Again, clever use of space. Nice, good quality shower using shower panels. 
the ceilings have all been uh, moisture boarded and cladded with uh, PVC cladding. As uh, you can see here, a bit of work is still left, but that gives you an idea. Moisture panel with PVC cladding. This is a fantastic use or fantastic solution to uh, reduce the amount of effort and time and it's long lasting because guess what? The, uh, the PVC panels are not going to attract uh, much mold uh, and it's easy to clean and maintain as well in the long term. This is room number two's bathroom. So bathroom again uh, for the second bedroom. So obviously the downstairs bedrooms have their own individual bathrooms and both of these bathrooms have locks as well. Following on, we go to room number four. This is our room number four. Again, a standard finished room. The scheme and the way we've set up the rooms are exactly the same. This room overlooks the back garden of the house. And the way we've done this is, uh, again, the same exact layout with the microwave, the tea coffee making facilities, and the uh, fridge freezer coming there. There'll be plenty of space for a wardrobe behind the door on the other side. And then there's going to be a chest of drawers here and a bedside table there, obviously. Once the bed moves on that side, there'll be a bedside table. This room has its own um, integral ensuite bathroom. Uh, I'll ask my cameraman to show you what we've done in this bathroom. Um, again, clever use of the uh, panel work that's reduced the amount of time that we've taken. PVC panels on the wall and cladding, PVC cladding on the ceiling makes things easier to work with and the finishing also looks nicer and it's uh, long term, in the long term, it's easier to maintain the property as well. I hope you like that. And uh, from here, we move on to our last room, which is room number five. Room number five is an interesting room because this used to be the original master bedroom in, the, uh, in this original two bedroom house. So um, the, this used to be quite a large room. What we did was originally we pinched that bit of space out and we split this, uh, th that corner space into two bathrooms, one opening on this side, one opening on the other side. So the integral ensuite on the room number four came out of uh, the, uh, the room number, this, this master bedroom. And so whatever is left here is the, uh, is the room number five, which is still quite a large, about 10 and a half square meter bedroom. Uh, we've, we're just in the middle of building the, the wardrobes and furniture here, as you can see. Uh, again, the same layout in every single room with the microwave tea coffee making facilities and place for a fridge freezer in every single room. And again, the integral toilet and uh, bathroom in this uh, room as well. I hope you liked uh, the work we've done here and especially within the time scales that we worked in um, because it is important to state that uh, uh, there is a balance of how much time you take versus uh, what work you deliver. So uh, we could have taken another two months to do a more perfect job, but rather than that, we would rather deliver a working solution in a relatively quicker outcome and yet deliver a, a, a solid working property that we can hold on for the long term. We don't intend to sell these properties. We, we invest and hold these properties for the long term. So that shows the, uh, the confidence that we have in the build quality that we deliver for ourselves. Uh, and so hopefully you understand that uh, to deliver this from the day we acquired the to today in a span of exactly two months to complete this whole build process has been quite a rewarding experience, quite a challenging experience, quite an interesting experience. I look forward to showing you more updates 
once the whole product is finished,